the Halloween special video is actually a recap. This video was delayed because of personal reasons, like the attack that happened to me on October 26th. I'm sorry for the delay, everyone, but here's the video as promised. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, your host. In this video, we'll be talking about the Halloween event, which includes the limited time only event for the ghost Pokemon known as Spiritomb, and we'll also be trying to catch Giratina and completing the quests related to Spiritomb all in this video. The first three quests we have to do in order to catch Spiritomb include use 108 berries to catch Pokemon, make 8 great throws, and catch 10 ghost type Pokemon. We're about to do our first Giratina raid. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it. Stay tuned everyone as I join my friends for a raid. So I join my friends Michael, his son Millar, Tyler, Joseph, Jeff and everyone else who I raid with in the neighborhood for the Giratina raid, my first ever in Pokemon Go, which of course only took my second ball to get. It was fun, and I'll never forget this experience raiding with them on the first day of its release. I did it. I finally caught my first Giratina. He did. I was there for it. And this is my pal Joseph Hallen. Haslam. 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 Excuse me, Joseph Haslam. And of course, these are my pals, Philadelphia PA, What's Mill that? R2, the real Mill R2, and the whole gang. We're a gang, we're pals, we're a Pokemon dude. didn't even try to Quest I'm doing actually is for Spear Tomb. It turns out when you feed 108 berries to Pokemon, you get a Lickitung as a reward. We'll find out what the reward for the next three quests when number two is, is around the corner for me. We just completed the first quest in our search for Spear Tomb. Now the second quest involves us catching 10 dark types, spinning eight Pokestops we never visited, and catching 108 Pokemon. We did it. We finally caught Spiritomb in Pokemon Go. It was a lot of hard work because I had to walk around the art museum area to spin eight Pokestops that I never spun before. But in the end, it was worth it. And I had a blast completing this task. This just in in Pokemon Go for the next community day. We are getting Cyndaquil and a special move and it was also discovered that Meltang 
evolves. We will find out how to get Meltang and its evolution in Pokemon Go down the road. This just in. Today, now we have a new Adventure Sync feature in Pokemon Go, which keeps track of all of our journals, how many kilometers we walked, etc. This should be a neat and interesting feature that was recently added to the game. Well, as confirmed by DX1 himself, the only way to get Meltang in Pokemon Go is by transferring a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee versions and the box will appear but you only have 30 minutes to try and catch Meltang and to get its evolution you need 400 Meltang candies to get it. This just in, in Pokemon Go we are getting another Gen 3 Pokemon Shindinja which of course in the main series games you had to Evolve a Ninkata into a Ninjask and have extra space in your party using the same type of Pokeball in order to, to obtain Shindinja. And it will be a field research reward for the month of November, replacing Suicune in the game. We are heading down to the Pogo United Halloween party at Rittenhouse Square where I will bring you an amazing adventure in this Pokemon Go video. I had a blast over at Rittenhouse Square with Nick and everyone else. Then after the Halloween gathering where we gave out candy to kids in the park, we go and do a quick Giratina raid over at 17th and Spruce and of course Despite not being able to shoot much footage because of copyright music, I still had a great time that day. We just caught the new spin up pattern that was released for this month in Pokemon Go. But the search for the quest that requires me to catch Ninkata, and yes, Ninkata and Ninjask are in Pokemon Go, requires me to catch five bu bug types. That has yet to be found by me, and when I do, I will record that, and I will put that, whether it's in this video or the next. Stay tuned, everyone. And Gengar Day has begun in Pokemon Go. Also this week in the game, we got Shiny Pinsir, which of course came out right around the time of the current Safari Zone event in Taiwan, where my good buddy DX1 is, and Shiny Caterpie. I will still be looking for the catch five buck type Pokemon to get my first Ninkata. And when I do, I'll be sure to, to include it in this video. If not, it'll be in the next. After three tries, this was the fourth one. In this raid, I got lucky because I first thought it wasn't a shiny, but then when I saw the different coloration and the sparkles, it was. But of course, this was the first time I caught a non legendary. Pokemon which was a shiny in a raid and I'm glad I had fun doing it and I got lucky and I was happy that I did I finally caught a shiny Gengar in Pokemon Go and Then later on I'll be heading over to the Discovery Center For this event and I will see if there are any rare spawns like possibly Unknown or any other rare Pokemon or maybe shiny pincer. We'll see Well, there weren't any rare spawns there no unknown, but still I enjoyed myself at the Discovery Center We have made it to the Discovery Center. This is where we'll close this video out with some amazing fun for the last part of this video, I go to the Discovery Center where I take part in a scavenger hunt with a lot of people who I also end up meeting. And of course, in the end, we all do a Giratina raid, which of course, sadly, I was not able to catch it. But at the end of the day, I had a blast. 
Got to meet some new interesting people. Got to explore a part of the city I never got to explore and had some s'mores at the end. Well, I failed to catch this Giratina, but that's okay. Because I'll never forget this experience here at the Discovery Center. And we close out this video with the fact that even though I didn't find the Catch 5 Bug type Pokemon or get Shindinja yet, those will hopefully come in the next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!